Okay, so recently while watching Flip Normal's video, I saw a very cool feature in ZBrush. So basically, we can have our reference on the left side of the screen and our main 3D model that we're working on on the right side of our, our screen. And if I start uh, to rotate or move around in this main view, it's also going to rotate my 3D reference so I can keep, uh, I'll have an uh, idea of how what basically I'm trying to achieve. I don't have to go back to my reference model and rotate it and then go back to my other view and start working on it. I can basically do both of these things at once and this is something I just, I, I had no idea I really needed this to get better in Blender. So after seeing this, this was, uh, I started searching if anyone had done this in Blender and I couldn't find any video or anything. Maybe I was not searching in the right place. So I'm creating a small video that will help anyone who's looking for this specific feature in Blender. And this is a very, very um, easy setup to do in Blender. So let's say we have this view and I want to work on this this window and while working if i rotate if i move around i want those changes to happen on this window as well and i already have it set up so for example if i want to work on the nose i can just zoom in and i can uh, study my shapes on the on the left side of the screen and apply those changes over here and i'll be able to see how it transitions from left to right what changes i need to do how um, like I'm I'm seeing the views in real time and that just it just blew my mind away so this is something very helpful for anyone who's starting out or even if you're um, already good at sculpting in blender and you look at references and you you can just have it open on the side of your screen while working on your main model so this has been uh, a really big struggle for me because usually um, I would have it open in a separate blender file or even on sketchfab or whatever and that's just not very helpful like it it wastes a lot of time so this setup is very very cool and I'm hoping I'll be able to do a lot of cool things with it okay so here's how to do a split screen setup in blender uh, similar to how it works in ZBrush. So the basic idea is that we have a reference that we would like to follow while we're working on our sculpt, right? It's very handy to have it open in the same file, but it's still very tedious to just uh, move around it, go back and go for to each of these windows. So let me just split my screen in the middle. So basically I want my sculpt to be on the left side and I want my model that I'll be working on on the right side and whenever I rotate on this right side I want the rotation to also work on this left side now to do this is very simple in blender just you just need to understand uh, how to do it once and then you can just reuse the file again and again okay so we're going to go to edit preferences we're going to search for collection now we need to make sure we have this collection manager enabled we don't need this qcd it just uh, gives this very weird uh, layout over here which i don't like this used to be in blender 2.7 and we don't, we don't really need this so i'm just going to turn this off and then just make sure this is enabled now once this is enabled we should get an option over here. So if I go to view collections, I get this option local view, uh, local collection. So basically let me add another collection. Let me call it a model and this one reference. In model, let me just add in a cube. Now let's say I turn on this local collection over here and I only want to view uh, my 3d model over here I don't want to view reference and if I go to this window over here and I go to view I turn on collections local collection I only want to view my reference here and I don't want to see the model right correct okay so now we have two different um, 
two different collections showing up on our left and right side of the window right now the only thing that we need to do is make it so that when we move in this view it also moves uh, that view okay now to do this uh, let me first um, disable all these things that i don't need and it's very important that i either split it in the middle so i'm using this uh, the middle of this arrows as the middle section so you either want to do it in the middle or you want to basically just uh, even if you want to make this window bigger the screen resolution just try to make sure that you don't have to change it again and again so in my case i i would split it in the middle right and now i can add a camera so i'm gonna go shift a add a camera and then i'll just move this back Right now, if I go into my camera view, so right now I need to set up my camera so it fits my view. To do this, you can press home screen on your keyboard and it automatically does that for you. If you look at it right now, it's working very well for, our, for the width of our screen, but it's not doing a good job with the height of our screen. And the reason for it is the fr uh, resolution for our camera right so we need to make sure the resolution is correct so to do this i'm gonna so i'm basically cheating this way but i'm using the default snipping tool and i'm just creating a screenshot from this entire viewport window this is why i said we don't really want to chase the size of the windows ideally the way i use it normally is have two uh, I have two monitor setups, so I use I have reference on one of the monitors and then I have model on the other monitor. You can either use it that way or you can just split your screen in the middle. <clears throat> so once we have a, our screenshot, I'm just going to save it anywhere where I can find it. I've already had one saved. Okay. So now <clears throat> if I go to properties, I'll be able to see the resolution for my file. So if I go under details, I can see the resolution of my file is 782 into 847. And that's what I need to write over here. So 782 into 847. Okay. So now uh, we have resized it to the correct proportions. We can just hit home key on our keyboard and it should fit. Now on this other view, I also want to press zero. So we go into our camera view and then press home. So we're also in the same view on both sides. Okay, now we have this setup. The only thing that we need to do is set our camera. So whenever we move, it, it also moves and that's, something we uh, at least i use it every time and i want to position my camera and it's this option under views camera to view basically what this does now if i rotate it's also okay let me click on my cube first if i rotate it's also going to rotate my camera view so let me just move out of this camera view so right now Yeah, we also need to enable this option on the other side as well. Okay, so right now, if I start moving it, it should be moving my camera as well. So if I move my, uh, if I rotate around over here, 
it's rotating my camera in this 3d viewport right and that's basically what's creating the illusion that we are moving uh, simulta simultaneously on both of these screens right so now we have the first part done now second part is basically navigation now if you're someone like me and you're very used to snapping to your front view your right view or any other view that's not going to work over here because now while we're working in camera view we need to we need to be in constantly in this camera view we can't toggle to our front or right left or any of these view so a good way uh, to go around this is the it's also a default setting in blender but while rotating if you press alt it basically snaps to your axis right so if i hold alt key while i'm rotating it's going to snap so right now it's snapped to this uh, left view right and if i go to front and i hit alt now it's snapped to my front view so this is a very good way to uh, snap in any of the view that you might want to work on right it's an alternative to instead of going to your front back or any other views you can just use your alt key just hold your alt key while you're rotating and it should work now second thing is you might want to mess around with the camera setting that works for you for me i found that if i set my camera focal length to 90 it uh, decreases the distortion it gives you a much better view so once you are happy with uh, the overall camera settings and all that uh, we want to go over here and we want to lock our camera right so now our camera is locked so it's not going to move around or anything unless like it's not really selectable so it's not going to get in our way and now we can basically start uh, sculpting or doing whatever we want Another great uh, thing that you will get an advantage over here Okay, <clears throat> now another great thing that we can do is um, Again, this is something I use a lot Especially while uh, studying a sculptor model So if I just stroke my crease pencil over here i have my overlays disabled let me just enable these so if i draw anything over here that's going to act as my uh, basically a reference line so for example chin ends over here this uh, temple it starts and ends over here i can make my markings and they will appear in in this view as well right and you can tweak these settings to whatever you want to basically whatever suits your preference but this is a very good way to study sculpts or anything that you might have in mind that might have been hard before but now it's very easy to do this way side by side having your 3d model and having your sculpt and also you can hide any of these that you don't need so for example for this side where i only want my sculpt to be i can disable I can disable text info, 3D cursor, uh, I want to have annotations. Yeah, just disable anything that you don't need and keep the things that you do need. And then you can w start working on your sculpt on this window while learning from the model on the other window. So I hope this video was helpful and let me know if you have any questions.